I say Russia in sending the following greeting to the United States and to the world at the same time. The whole issue of the world, of the world, will depend upon your ability to save this continent from invasion, public or free. Buhat doon hanggang ngayon na naitayo natin ang bagong Republika ng Pilipinas. Matayan! Sapagkat ang kamatayan may matamis katulad ng tinuro ng ating mga bayani. Jackson swears in Vice President Sergio Osmeña as President of the Philippine Commonwealth. We need immediate relief and financial assistance to tide us over. Most of all, we need a close trade relationship with United States. The Filipinos are grateful and have a deep affection for America. Although the color of our skin is brown, the temper of our minds and our beliefs is almost identical with yours. The treaty of negotiation has been made to the fact that thousands of children are still out of school for lack of accommodation. Maybe these children are not yet on school age. In all our history as a young nation, this is the first time in which no child of school age can complain of having no place in our public school. I tell you all the best at my command. We demand that we cover our authority government Aquino, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that, I will faithfully, that I will faithfully and conscientiously, and conscientiously fulfill, my duties, fulfill my duties as President of the Philippines. As President of from a base of zero growth, we are today being hailed as the new Asian Tiger Cup and the hottest emerging market in the region. For just four years, we are today regarded as living proof that democracy is not incompatible with development. The democratic institutions can foster fertile conditions for progress which authoritarian systems can never match. Layo na ang kaya nating abot, maabot. Kaya tayo ay susunong na ngayon. Let me start with a sincere apology to all those who expected or wished to see me fail. I'm sorry to disappoint them. An economy that grew more than 6% last year and that has continued to work in the teeth of the biggest oil price hikes in history while generating 4 million jobs in the last four years. Mark improvements in tax collections, infrastructure, housing construction, shelter security, for the urban poor and indigenous peoples and rise productivity. 69 million beneficiaries of healthcare insurance, including 30 million indigents, whose re-enrollment started early this year and is still ongoing. Gusto ba ninyong matanggal ang wangwang hindi lamang sa karsada kundi sa kaisipang nagdulot ng baluktot na sistema na pagkatagal-tagal na nating pinagtiisan? Ako rin. 
sa larangan po ng negosyo, sino ba ang nag-akalang pitong ulit nating malalampasan ang all-time high ng stock market? They have to stop because the alternative are either jail or hell. Short of expressly advocating a call to arms, there are those who say that we should stand up and stop those who fish in our economic zone. Of course, we will do in due time. Cut down establishments that continue to pollute and poison our waters. The drugs will not be crossed unless we continue to eliminate corruption. I have met the enemy face to face and suddenly the enemy is We have been able to find a way to grow and to make stronger the relationships between our two countries, the People's Republic of China and the Republic of the Philippines. Uh, in many ways, the the signing of diplomatic agreement of the diplomatic agreement between the People's Republic and the Republic of the Philippines in 1975 was just a formalization or normalization of an informal relationship that has been shown to go back at least to the Tang Dynasty, and uh, that is how long uh, the uh, relationship between uh, the Philippines and China has been going on. And we, this, this is at, at, at very many levels. And with the addition now of the, with the addition in 1975 of the signing and normalization of diplomatic relations between our two countries, our two countries, we formalized that informal relationship and added another facet to our uh, to our dealings. In that we added government to government. And that has been something that I believe has been very advantageous to both our countries. And so how do, how do I see the future between China and the Philippines?